It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Right now on Fox 5 News at 10. A bombshell in the Bill Cosby sex abuse controversy. Ten-year-old court documents show the comedian admitted to drugging at least one woman for sex. They are the court documents Cosby's legal team tried to keep you from seeing. All right, since that deposition was taken back in 2005, dozens of women have come forward to accuse him of sexual assault. Dan Bowen's here now with more on how this new revelation could impact all these cases, Dan. Yeah, Stephen Daly, nearly 40 women have accused Bill Cosby of drugging and raping them. The comedian has always publicly denied any wrongdoing. Now, legal experts say this decade-old deposition could finally be a game-changer. The comedic icon, in his own words, admitting he obtained prescription drugs to give to women for sex. In the deposition from 2005, Bill Cosby was asked, quote, When you got the quaaludes, was it in your mind that you were going to use these quaaludes for young women that you wanted to have sex with? Cosby's response, yes. And he said he gave it to at least one woman and, quote, other people. A stunning piece of information, says former prosecutor Matthew Galuzzo. It was an astonishing admission, honestly. You just never expect to see somebody say something like that in a proceeding like this. The comedian's testimony, part of a sexual abuse lawsuit filed by a former Temple University employee. Later during the testimony, Cosby admitted he gave the woman three half pills of Benadryl. That suit was settled in 2006. Since then, more than two dozen women have come forward accusing the comedy legend of similar claims. It's going to give a lot of them a lot of credibility. Uh, suddenly, he's admitting to essentially, uh, it seems like the conduct that they're accusing him of, uh, certainly it's awfully close to what they're accusing him of. So I think it's going to give them a lot of uh, courage to go forward. Attorneys for Cosby fought the release of the documents, first obtained by the Associated Press, arguing they would be, quote, terribly embarrassing. Attorneys for many of the women now accusing Cosby already reacting. Gloria Allred issuing a statement saying, quote, this confirms the allegations of numerous victims who have said that he has used drugs in order to sexually assault them. Now, Cosby has never been charged criminally in any of these cases, and many of them are decades old and fall outside the statute of limitations. His attorneys today did not respond to the AP's report. Darian, Steve, back to you. All right, Dan, thank you. I'll take it. Lawmakers in South Carolina have voted to remove the Confederate flag from State House grounds. The 37 to 3 vote by the State Senate paves the way for the controversial flag to be taken down. So if the House passes the same measure in a vote that is expected tomorrow, supporters of the flag say it represents the South's heritage, but opponents say that it is a symbol of bigotry and hatred. The debate was renewed, renewed last month during the Charleston Church Massacre. The city settled a lawsuit involving Occupy Wall Street protesters who complained about being blasted with pepper spray by police. The six protesters will receive settlements ranging between $52,000 to $60,000 per person. The case is stemmed from a march that happened a week after Occupy protesters first gathered in Lower Manhattan's Zuccotti Park back in September of 2011. City lawyers say the settlements were made in the best interest of the city. Well, if you use the FDR drive to get around town, there's some good news and some kind of bad news. Well, the good news is that there's a major resurfacing project that will smooth out all those nasty potholes. But the bad news is that you can expect some traffic headaches while the crews are working on the roads. Sharon Crowley is on the Upper East tonight with what you need to know to get around. Hi, Sharon. That's right, Derry. This major resurfacing of the FDR starts in just about an hour, and it is going to take a long time. Now, if you happen to use the FDR between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m., pack your patience on your trip. They're not doing the whole stretch of the road that is being broken into sections, but the work will take months. If you drive on the FDR, you know what this feels like. It can be a bumpy ride. This gateway to New York City, used by 150,000 drivers daily, is filled with potholes, uneven surfaces, and many times traffic jams. How is driving on the FDR now? Do you think they need to resurface the road? They definitely need to, but it's something they could probably do on the weekend. Yeah, most definitely. Is it a bumpy ride for you? Very bumpy. <laughs> Tonight, the Department of Transportation begins a resurfacing project designed to make your trip smoother. We need it. Yeah, how is it riding on the FDR? Very bumpy. From 11 p.m. to about 6 o'clock in the morning, Monday to Thursday, the DOT will close two lanes of traffic on the section of the FDR that's being resurfaced. One lane of traffic will remain open. We will have to close lanes. It'll be from the late period from midnight to 5, I believe. 
and that's going to be the period where we'll have the least impact on traffic. The DOT is asking for drivers to be patient. The project is expected to take several months and probably won't be finished until winter. This is a very challenging job. The FDR is comprised of different pieces built in different ways, owned by different people, made out of different materials. And I also talked with a number of DOT workers who will be out on the FDR involved with this project. And they also encouraged me to tell our viewers to be patient. They say New Yorkers are not shy. They express their frustration, but they said it's all for a good purpose, hoping the road will be smoother soon, maybe by this time next year. I'll send it back to you in the studio. New York is not afraid to let them know how they feel about it. All right, thank you, Sharon. Well, starting tonight, some subway lines will undergo overnight maintenance, cleaning, and repairs. The NQ and R trains are not operating in Manhattan from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. The N's running in Brooklyn and Queens, and the R's being rerouted to the D-line service expected to resume at night on all three lines in time for the weekend. The Long Island Railroad doesn't seem to be watching the gap with its own spending. Officials say that they did not set aside enough space to fit federally mandated crash prevention equipment in the new M9 electric trains. Positive train control will require 17 cubic feet per car, which is more than twice the allotted amount. That problem could increase the cost of the new trains and delay their rollout in 2018. One day after Greece rejected the terms of an international bailout, both sides seem to be working towards a deal. The Greek government has named a new finance minister before tomorrow's emergency meeting with creditors in Brussels. Following last night's bailout rejection, Greece could be on the verge of exiting the Eurozone. Greek banks will remain closed for another two days to avoid running out of cash. But leaders of Germany and France say there is still time to reach a deal in an effort to keep the 19-country Eurozone intact. ESM program. It will be very important tomorrow for the Greek Prime Minister to tell us what the next steps are for Greece and present a precise proposal for a medium-term program that will lead Greece to prosperity and growth. Despite being owed billions, the International Monetary Fund is offered to assist Greece if the country asks for help. Still no nuclear deal with Iran, and there's another deadline coming up tomorrow. Iran is reportedly pushing for an end to the international arms embargo against it. That's a demand that the U.S. and Western allies are strongly opposing. It would be separate from the long-term deal that would restrict Iran's nuclear program in exchange for the relief from crippling economic sanction sanctions. Well, the deadline has already extended three times. All clear at Walter Reed Medical Center after someone reported hearing a single gunshot fired there this morning. Police conducted an exhaustive search at the military hospital in Bethesda, Maryland, but after several hours say there's no evidence of a shooting. Well, the NYPD has been cracking down on drivers who illegally speed around city streets on ATVs. Their efforts have intensified after one cop was apparently intentionally hit by a driver over the weekend. Here's Lisa Evers. Police are cracking down on four-wheeler racing in this neighborhood, but at a price. An officer was injured when an ATV driver rammed him from behind, and now that driver is nowhere to be found. Four wheelers, also called ATVs, are exploding in popularity, exemplified by rapper Meek Mill's Bike Life video game. Players earn gold coins for outrunning cops, but here on Hunts Point Avenue, it's become a real speedway. On Saturday, a police officer riding a confiscated ATV was rammed from behind, allegedly by 44 year old George Fabian. Police say he's six foot two and about 220 pounds. Residents are concerned. We need the cops. I don't care how you see it. We, we, we need the cops. So, you know, if the guy doing something wrong, if you are wrong, they should catch him and he should serve time. In this cell phone video, you see a four wheeler riding up First Avenue in Manhattan, right in the middle of regular traffic. Police are actively patrolling Hunts Point Avenue, home to car repair shops and gentlemen's clubs. There are also families living along the avenue and a park where their children play. Some here are worried about safety for everyone crossing the street. That's not right, that's unsafe. That's very, very unsafe and it's dangerous. And it's endangering the lives of minors, kids, even of adults. If it's not hurting anyone, it's okay, but when you start affecting people around the environment or the community, it's something that you have to look out for. If you have any information about the ATV driver, police would like you to give them a call at 1-800-577-TIPS and you don't have to give your name. In Hunts Point, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.
Portuguese man of war fast becoming a familiar, familiar scene on the New Jersey shore and the beaches there this summer. Another of the jellyfish like creatures washed up on a beach in Wildwood yesterday. It's the third time that's happened along the Jersey shore so far this year. They are potentially harmful due to venom covered tentacles that can be very painful if stung. They are fearsome looking creatures. Lifeguards are warning beachgoers to be extra careful when walking on the beach or swimming in the water. Well, there's a major invasion going on in parts of Long Island right now. Thousands of gypsy moth caterpillars are killing hundreds of trees and leaving behind a big fat mess. An entomologist we spoke with says that the lack of rain during the month of May contributed to the current outbreak. And state park officials, well, they say that they will consider spraying for the insects next year to prevent another outbreak like we're seeing this year. All right, well, the school year just ended, so is it too soon to stock up for September already? I already got the list from school. Why retailers started their back-to-school sales even before the 4th of July. And a bizarre lost and found story on the G train, how one New Yorker is trying to get some missing grills back to its rightful owner than this. She's down in the dumps, cutting metal. I'm directionally challenged. And operating heavy machinery. <laughs> Does she have what it takes to work in a scrapyard? This is the worst scavenger hunt of all time. It's Jen at Work, a new summer series coming up. <music> Closed captioning brought to you by your local Lexus dealer. Parents from the Bronx to Buffalo had a cause and they had a voice. They just needed some champions. Governor Cuomo and legislative leaders passed a bold education reform package that invests in all our public schools, expands parent choice, and ensures public charter schools can thrive and grow. They increased funding for New York State schools and gave all of our children the stability they deserve. Now the picture is a whole lot brighter for kids and parents. Feel like a kid again with Dunkin's new Oreo and Chips Ahoy flavored culotta and iced coffees. Classic cookie flavor in every sip. America runs on Dunkin'. Six Flags Great Adventure introduces another first. Batman the Ride, now backwards. That's right, backwards. Fly through loops and corkscrews, but you'll never see them coming. Save up to 25 bucks at SixFlags.com. So, Henry, I heard you could take a friend with you to the Pocono water parks. I'm free this weekend. Hey, Henry! These are all for you. Everyone wants in on a getaway to the three humongous indoor water parks in the Pocono Mountains. Just pack your bags and prepare for a splash-tastic family adventure. PoconoWaterParkResorts.com How about some cleaning? Get rid of the clutter, the googly hat, the baseball bat, a paper mache football, this head, this has got to go. <laughs> this steering wheel, this painting, this has got to go. What are you doing with the blonde wig? It was a phase, Rosanna. He's <laughs> having remorse about the cleaning. Money. When was the last time you wore this hat? I may not get rid of that. <laughs> Fun. Unexpected. Good Day New York. Number one. Guessing Jen was a big hit at the scrapyard. Just mm -hmm. guessing there. All right, in the next Jen at work, Jen will be working with racehorses at Belmont Park. She'll be bathing them, feeding them. And yes, there's quite a stench coming off that place. That's coming up in two weeks. While some jaw dropping posters are going up in a Brooklyn subway station looking for the person who lost their grills. It's not the thing you cook hot dogs and hamburgers on. We're talking about those blinged out accessories that go in your mouth. Apparently, someone lost their grills at the Bedford Nostrand G train station last month. The person who found them, Platinum Portland Porcelains, yeah. posted this flyer. That's a lot of peas there. Mm -hmm. Showing rapper Nelly wearing his grill. If we're not being trolled and this is real, you can get in touch with the person on the sign. And prove that they're yours, kind of and then looks they're like all Nelly's yours. Mouth, you know? No, it is. It's a picture of oh, Nelly, which makes Nelly. me think we might be oh, just getting trolled. Okay, but who knows? That, I was like, that looks like Nelly. Who okay. knows? All right, all right. Could okay, be. Real. I think we're getting trolled. Right. Okay. Well, Twitter users have a new way to celebrate their birthdays. There's a new feature that adds animated balloons to your Twitter profile for your very special day, right there. But there is, of course, a catch. Knowing your exact birth date will help marketers target ads more precisely, and it could also leave you more vulnerable to identity. Yeah, that's a big piece of info to know. Not worth it. All right, the world's oldest living person celebrated her 116th birthday in Brooklyn today. Susanna Mushat-Jones of East New York was recognized 
tested by Guinness last month. When asked about her secret to longevity, Susanna said she never drinks or smokes and surrounds herself with love and positive okay, but energy. One key thing was left out. What's she that? She apparently has four slices of bacon every oh, single does she really? morning. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Even better. So it works for some people. Yeah, you no, know? it's true. It's all genetics four at the end of the of day. Bacon. It really Absolutely. is. Good for her. Well, is it really over this time? All right, well, we are hearing about the Lord of the Manor, Lord Dizik, and Courtney Kardashian breaking up, perhaps. Plus, screen addiction seems kids and teens just can't put down the smartphones, the iPads, the laptops. Well, the toll technology, though, is taking on the next generation. Fox 5 News, brought to you by Raymore and Flanagan, furnishing your style. It's the one-day mattress sale at Raymore and Flanagan. Get the healthy, restful sleep you need and deserve for less. Bell & Esther is on sale. Save an enormous 33%. Serta Queen sets are on sale starting at a low $3.99. Plus special financing, no interest for 36 months. Get the added bonus of free next-day delivery, set up an old mattress removal. The one-day mattress sale with special preview today. Only at Raymore and Flanagan. Critics call Fifth Grader a fun family competition. I'm getting so confused. It is true or false. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? It all starts Tuesday at 8 on Fox 5. A new season brings a new look. A chance to try something different. This summer, challenge your preconceptions and experience a Cadillac for yourself. Take advantage of our summer offers. The 2015 Cadillac SRX. A crossover with space, safety, and style. Lease this from around $3.39 per month. If you had a button that could reverse time, you'd use it, wouldn't you? And if you had a magnetic force field to protect yourself from phone zombies, you'd use it, wouldn't you? And if you had a TV experience better than you ever imagined, just waiting for you inside your PlayStation, you'd use it, wouldn't you? PlayStation. You can't stand the heat. Get off the test track. Get the Mercedes-Benz you've been burning for at the summer event going on now at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Hurry before this opportunity cools off. It's Halloween. The flame, the flame. <laughs> Baby girl. Jay, have you seen my new tattoo? Modern Family. Modern Family, tomorrow night starting at 7 on Fox 5. Well, you were out celebrating America's birthday. Some celebs were out celebrating their wedding. That's right. Here's Simone Boyce with a look at who tied the knot and the one Hollywood couple who may actually have called it quits. Simone. Yeah, yeah. guys. You don't necessarily associate July 4th with the most romantic weekend in the world. Sort of like a party weekend. Yeah, more of a party weekend. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, some people are getting together and some people are breaking up too. Billy Joel married his girlfriend, Alexis Roderick, in a surprise ceremony at his home on Long Island over the holiday weekend. And the guests at Joel's annual 4th of July Lie party had no idea they were tying the knot that day. His daughter Alexa Ray Joel witnessed the ceremony provided over by New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. And this is the fourth marriage for Billy Joel, who is 66 years old. He and 33 year old Roderick have been dating since 2009 and are expecting their first child together. Well, that 70s show co-stars Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis also secretly wed, but this time on a ranch, the secret garden at Parrish Ranch in Oak Glen, California. And they had a really cool idea for their guests. They apparently offered them the opportunity to glamp, which is the abbreviation of glamorous camping, so glamping also in some luxurious tents there on the grounds. The couple got engaged in February of 2014 and welcomed a nine-month-old daughter. She's now nine months old. Her name is Wyatt, and that was last October when she was born and Ashton Kutcher was of course married to Demi Moore before this. Well, here's the thing with the Kardashians. They're so everywhere you can't ignore them so we just have to talk about mm -hmm. them. 
Kourtney Kardashian and longtime love Scott Disick are apparently calling it quits. Things aren't looking good for the couple as photos appeared online showing Disick cozying up to his ex-girlfriend Chloe in Monaco. While Kourtney stayed in New York with the kids, they have three children together. And if you watch the show at all, if you mm. ever watch the show, he's been in and out of rehab, so maybe he just took things took the partying a little too far this time. Lord Disick's my favorite though, I must say, he really is. <laughs> he I, know, is. I know it's not like the PC thing to say, but whatever. He's I didn't realize, one. so they're not technically married? I didn't realize that I didn't either. Know that either. Yeah. I just um, learned that tonight. So let I me, thought they were married. So let me just be totally on brand yeah. and be cynical, yeah. uh, cynical yeah. for a minute. Yeah. Um, Bruce, uh, who is now Caitlyn Jenner, yeah. uh -huh. has been overshadowing them. Perhaps they need a little bit of a Could, could be a storyline. Uh, that's it's true. It could be real though too. It seems like. Formerly Bruce was my favorite character. He and Lord Disney yeah. were my two yeah, favorites yeah. on that show. Totally, <laughs> totally. I'm with you, Simone. All right, guys. Who knows? They'll sort Thanks it for out. indulging me with some Good silly deal. entertainment news. We love it. All right. <laughs> well, most school kids are just finally getting into the groove of summer vacation. So why are stores already pushing big back to school sales? They just won't quit. And the U.S. Women's World Cup win has the whole country celebrating what we're learning about the Jersey girl who led the team to victory. It's after 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Brought to you by Ridgewood Savings Bank. Sleepy's extended July 4th holiday prices are unbeatable. Get up to half off nearly every mattress in the store. Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, and more. With Beautyrest Queen sets starting at just $249 each piece. Save up to $1,000 on Simmons Renew Adjustables. Save up to $400 on Sealy Posturepedic Hybrid. Plus, get a $200 gift card and free delivery on Tempur-Pedic. Trust New York number one mattress retailer. Sleepy's, the only mattress professionals. What do doctors from leading cancer centers in the country have in common? Many of them now call Cancer Treatment Centers of America home. Expert medicine works here. Find out why at cancercenter.com. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Honey, I booked you for the dentist on Thursday. Friday, I'm cooking for your parents. Did you clean the garage yet? Uh, you're breaking up, honey. I'll call you later. Close Five will help me sell this stuff quickly. Some of it hardly used, some of it brand new. All of it worth something to somebody somewhere, somewhere close by, and that's why I use the Close Five app. The easiest way for me to sell my stuff and make space in my garage. Download Close Five now for free at the App Store or Google Play. Six generations, one feeling. Here's to the original sports sedan. The BMW 3 Series. We only make one thing, the ultimate driving machine. Pay nothing for service, even wear and tear items. That's ultimate service, standard on every new BMW. Introducing Dunkin's new fruit smoothies. Perfectly blended with real fruit and low-fat yogurt. It's a delicious choice you can feel good sipping. Discover the goodness of Dunkin's new smoothies today. America runs on Dunkin'. Fox 5 News, brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Schools out for summer, but parents already can, getting bombarded with back-to-school sales. Some families just getting their kids off to summer camp. While others are still planning their summer vacations, Lady Sarah and I went to find out why retailers are so gung ho on the back to school bandwagon. For most students, summer is a time to relax, have fun. Then why are we already seeing ads for back to school sales at stores like Toys R Us? I think that's crazy. I mean, kids in the city just got out a week ago. That makes me feel like summer's almost over. My kids don't want to be thinking about going back to school right now. They want to have fun. Oh, they want to spend the summer enjoying it. Are you kidding? Absolutely. Parents aren't just shopping in stores either. According to one report, back to school online shoppers are expected to spend more than $56 billion over the next couple of months. Eric Fishgrunt is the founder and CEO of Fish Tank Marketing and PR. 
Due to the increase in e-commerce, especially across mobile devices, it's become a lot easier for a consumer to shop from their couch watching television. Marketing experts say this trend is similar to when we saw holiday shopping sales as early as Halloween. Parents are also back to school shopping earlier than ever. One survey found that about a quarter now do it at least two months in advance. They know that we're going to end up coming back in September for all the things that we missed in the first place. But if parents shop now, do they get better deals? Well, experts say that depends. Similar to any seasonal shopping, you're going to find a lot of deals well ahead of time as well as in the hours before time. I suspect that a lot of the folks who go out a week or two before the school season starts to pick up supplies for their children are going to face the greatest increase in pricing. In the meantime, kids, enjoy your summer vacation because as an adult, you're lucky if you get two weeks. Lydia Serrano, Fox 5 News. All right, we want to know when do you start getting the kids ready for back to school. Don't shoot us. We're just Awful. the messenger. We're reacting to stories that are already taking place outside like that one. Go to our Facebook wall. Let us know, and we will share your comments later in the hour, although I have a feeling I know what they are. But, Not for a long time from now. Yeah. All right, I'll say this later on in the show. Screen addiction, it is taking a huge toll on children. There's a new documentary called Web Junkie, and it highlights the effects on teenagers hooked to online gaming. While the film focuses entirely on China, the filmmakers say that it shows a much broader trend. In fact, one study found that kids 8 to 18 spend an average of seven and a half hours using entertainment media on a typical day, and that could have a negative effect on their behavior, health, as well as schoolwork. All right, while well, America is still celebrating last night's World Cup win by the U.S. women's national team, all the talks about New Jersey native who led the USA to soccer glory. Carly Lloyd's three goals propelled the U.S. to a 5-2 win over Japan. Her performance has made her an international superstar, but it was at New Jersey's Delran High School where she perfected her moves. When we wanted to go to the mall, Carly wanted to go to the soccer field. Um, it was just in her heart and from, you know, day one. It's awesome seeing her being able to carry the team and put three goals in was just inspiring and so exciting to watch. All right, and this should come as no surprise, but Carly Lloyd was voted most athletic in her Delran High School yearbook. Meanwhile, New York City looking into honoring Team USA with a parade. Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer writing to Mayor de Blasio suggesting the idea, saying a parade through the Canyon of Heroes in Lower Manhattan would be a nice touch. The city is talking with the team, but no word on when a final decision will be made. Well, some tennis fans are taking a politically incorrect approach to supporting their favorite player. These are fans of Australian tennis star Nick Kyrgios, who posted pictures online of their faces smeared in Nutella and also Vegemite. The images are supposed to be supportive of the tennis player, who is Malaysian and Greek, but many say the pictures are offensive because they resemble blackface. Kyrgios apparently supports the images, telling one fan that she looks awesome. Time now for On Brand, Off Brand, our daily look at which people are living up or down to our expectations. On Brand, GoPro announcing the release of a new smaller camera called the Hero 4 Session. That camera is half the size of the Hero 4 Silver and Black models. It goes on sale a week from now for just under 400 bucks. Off Brand, Instagram making it harder to broadcast a hyper-perfect, fictitious version of your life by upping the photo resolution from 640 to 1080p. Essentially, this means if you want to pull off a hashtag no filter shot, you better make sure your skin is on point. And on brand, Bill Walton, the world's most famous pro athlete slash deadhead, living up the dead's final Fairly Well Show tour. Walton was a constant smiling presence online at the shows this weekend, taking pics with fans and generally being the one six foot 11 guy wow. you wouldn't mind standing behind or at least near at a concert. Mm. I watched the final show last night on my couch. It was great. That's a good seat. It, it's, it's the best seat in the house. Incredible. No bathroom drinks, line, cheap exactly. beers, the whole thing. It, it really is the way to do it. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for the traditional honeymoon. All right, how the definition continues to change and now even includes, includes go. Attention shoppers, you want better deals than on Black Friday? We'll tell you where and when and how. The Your World Business Report, coming up. But first, here's tonight's New York Minute. Everybody clap your hands. Funday Monday is back at North Hempstead Beach Park. The free senior program returned today and will run from 10 to 2 every Monday until August 24th. 
Each Monday has a different theme and a chance to get together for some activities. You can find out more at NorthHempstead.com. The Sports and Arts and Schools Foundation is kicking off its largest summer in history. Camp opening celebrations were held today at PS 146 in Manhattan and three other schools. By the end of the summer, nearly 9,000 kids in 97 different programs will take part in this health and wellness camp. I think the best benefits are the fact that we're here from 8.30 to 3.30 and it provides them with that nice bridge during the summer where they can potentially not get their academics and it also provides them with those fun activities that can keep them engaged during the day and not have them just stay home and not get a part of the experience during the summer. And that's your New York Minute. Fox 5 News brought to you by Toyota. Test drive one at your Toyota dealer. Let's go places. Welcome to Toyota. I've got a conference call in 15, but I'm looking for something reliable, stylish, lots of technology. Give me the elevator pitch, go. Well, there's the new 2015 Toyota Camry. It's got a bold new redesign, plus available Qi wireless charging capability. Sold? Wow, you should be a professional spokesperson. I'll look into that. Check out what makes the 2015 Toyota Camry such a bold ride when you visit buyatoyota.com. It all starts at Toyota. Let's go places. I'm Danny Meyer, and New York is my home. There's no place like it in the world. It's a food lover's paradise. You can experience an incredible meal cooked by a celebrity chef or by the next generation before they're famous. Try New York's best in one beautiful location. Take home the freshness of New York's farms. Discover the world-class wines served at the 2013 presidential inauguration. Plan your trip at iloveny.com slash summer. There's something for everyone. Because 100% whole grain oats are incredibly good for you. Because they're heart healthy. Because they're good for kids and granddads and everyone else in the family. Everything we do is because of what really matters most. The goodness of oats and the people we love. Let's play True or False with Verizon Fios. Verizon claims to offer a white glove installation service. Is this true or false? The answer is false. Sorry, Verizon. Your white glove service is what Optimum just calls service, which is everything you do and more. Let's play True or False with Verizon Fios. Verizon claims they're all fiber optic. Is this true or false? The answer is false. Sorry. Actually, Verizon still uses regular cable in the home. Better luck next time. Did you steal this thing? Honestly. Because with all this stuff, and, of course, the way it drives, maybe you really are getting away with something. Post office will arm its mail carriers with a panic button. The new device will give them a way to call for help and also contain GPS to track their movements. Last year, there were more than 400 assaults on postal workers nationwide and dogs attacked carriers more than 5,000 times. It's going to cost, though. The total for this will be about $200 million. All right, in business news tonight, your grande skinny vanilla latte is going to cost a little more. Then Oreos get skinny. Here's Neil. Well, you don't have to wait until Black Friday this year to score some amazing deals. Amazon celebrating its 20th birthday by announcing Prime Day for its Prime members. The retail giant saying the one-day event, which is next Wednesday, the 15th, by the way, will have more deals than on Black Friday. Some good news for the economy. A new report showing the service sector grew more than expected last month thanks to a bunch of new orders. More than 8 in 10 workers in the private sector are in the service industry. Well, going to Starbucks is about to get more expensive. The company is saying the average customer can expect to pay about 1% more for his or her order beginning on Tuesday. The rising cost of labor and rent 
are some of the big reasons why. And Oreo is going skinny. The cookie company unveiling the new Oreo Thins today. The slim and very sophisticated cookies hit the shelves next Monday and will be available in golden, original, and mint flavors. Because you had a right to know. That's business. I'm Neil Cavuto. Our slim, we had those early on. Yeah, I know. He probably it's... was happy when the double stuffs came out. Yeah, right. Well, the guest list, the caterer, the meddling in laws. Oh, brother, pan planning a wedding can cause some serious stress. What some couples are now doing to restore their zen before saying I do. And tonight, we asked you when you start getting the kids ready for back to school. I, I'm so sorry that we're talking uh, about right, this. Right. But you can put it on Facebook. The Cavuto Report, brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. How's it progressing with the prisoner? He'll tell us everything he knows very shortly, sir. As you were. Where were we? 1974 team. Service! If your boss stops by, you act like you're working. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. The answer to treating your dog's fleas and ticks is staring you right in the face. Next Guard from the makers of Frontline Plus. It's the only soft beef flavored chew that kills both fleas and ticks. Vets recommend it, and dogs, well, they're begging for it. Next Guard is for dogs only and hasn't been evaluated for use in pregnant, breeding, or lactating dogs. Reported side effects include vomiting, dry, flaky skin, diarrhea, lethargy, and lack of appetite. Used with caution in dogs with a history of seizures. Recommended by vets, loved by dogs. From the makers of Frontline Plus. took Tim Morehouse years to master the perfect lunge. Yes! But only one attempt to master depositing checks at Chase ATMs. Technology designed for you, so you can easily master the way you bank. Wow, Time Warner Cable really upgraded their network. 300 meg internet, clearer pictures. I know, we get almost 20,000 movies and shows on demand. Our new DVR records six shows at once. Why didn't we switch sooner? Right, everything's better. Well, almost everything. We're making things better. Enhanced DVR, nearly 20,000 on-demand titles, and up to 300 meg internet, including free Wi-Fi at home and on the go. Switch today, and for a limited time, you could get a $300 reward card. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Fox 5 News, brought to you by Raymore and Flanagan, furnishing your style. Next, Boris and Nicole. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. The boy actor and musician Evan Ross is here. And Sherbert. Then do you have someone in your life who just can't let it go? What the? Oh, you'll want to check this out. We're saving some relationships. That's Boris and Nicole. The Boris and Nicole Show, tomorrow at 11 on Fox 5. Planning a wedding can be very stressful. That's right. Now, some couples have a new way to deal with it by getting away before the big day. Stacey Delacat shows us it's called the wedding moon. The cake, the dress, the guest list. Planning a wedding is not easy, as any bride will tell you. It's a lot of things together, so... It is very stressful. Rachel Onanga is getting married this weekend, but two weeks ago, she and her fiancé, Frank, decided they needed a break from the wedding planning madness and booked a getaway in Connecticut for what's called a wedding moon. It was mostly because it was overwhelming, and we decided to take a break and just close our phone. Rachel and Frank aren't the only ones breaking from the standard wedding then honeymoon routine and taking a trip before the big day, says Jamie Miles, the online managing editor of the Knot.com. Hearing about a wedding moon is not uncommon in our world. It's a great way for couples to, you know, avoid the stress of planning for a couple of days uh, and just get away together before the actual ceremony. Many moons ago, like when your parents got married, it was probably a honeymoon or nothing at all. But these days, couples are mixing 
mixing it up. And it's not uncommon for a bride and groom to take a wedding moon, a mini moon, and then later on, a baby moon too. So kind of staggering the events is common just because they want multiple experiences. Miles says the trend is even inspiring hotel chains to cater to couples with special wedding moon packages. Or have you heard of this trend? I haven't heard of it, but it sounds like a great idea because I'm already stressed. <laughs> Jamie Sarah isn't getting married until February, so maybe she'll still be able to work in a wedding moon. Rachel and Frank certainly recommend it. It was a stress reliever, I will say that. The only thing to worry about, a wedding moon will probably make your wedding price tag even bigger. Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News. Throw it on the tab, just what we need. That wedding price <laughs> tag it. goes Oof. up and up and, and up. What and a I have get. three daughters. So you see what's coming down my room. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're working on the I'll be clock. working until I'm, well, we won't even go there. <laughs> no, let's just stick to the weather. That, exactly. That's fair. So, well, very tropical. You yes. Know. Humidity is up, that's mm -hmm. for sure. You're going to feel that. And that's, uh, we kind of hinted at this happening last week, that it was mm -hmm. going to be a much more humid week. Yeah. And I really do think that's going to be the case. So, it is July. I mean, it's supposed to be like this. Uh, okay. Nothing too right. hot coming no our way. Again, that still looks like we're not into any big heat waves anytime soon. But humidity will be a factor this week. Today, 83 and 72, fairly close to average, just a little bit below that on the high temperatures. But by one degree, we'll call it average. And uh, 103 and 54 in the records for the day. Sunrise, 531, but now the sun sets 830. So, the clock has started as we start to get a little less daylight now moving forward. I know, I know. 75 right now, humidity up there with a dew point at 64. Clouds in place. Pressure's 3010 and it is falling. We've had showers southwest of the city off and on much of the afternoon into the evening. Scattered showers, not a lot of rain going on. We're still seeing on Fox 5 Sky Guardian a couple. There's one there on I-80 and uh, most of them are now still back into eastern Pennsylvania. We'll see more of these though as we go into tomorrow and on into Wednesday. Uh, just about any point there could be a shower, but there'll also be some sun getting through too. 85 5 Poughkeepsie, 83 Sussex, 81 down at the Jersey Shore for high temps today. Low 80s across Long Island. You hit Montauk at 80 degrees. And right now we're in the 70s uh, at just about every location except Monticello at 66, 73 at Sussex and Belmar, 75 Newark to the city and low to mid 70s out across Long Island. Now here's the story with the humidity. Dew point mid 60s. That's when it starts to feel uncomfortable. Notice Allentown out there at 71 with their dew point. So as those numbers get to 70 or greater, you really feel uncomfortable. In the next couple of days, I think we'll be seeing those dew points in that 65, 70 degree range. All right, the wind is out of the south. That's why we're starting to see that humidity increasing, bringing all that humid air up from the south. That south wind will continue tomorrow. It's warm all the way down to Philly and Washington, D.C. tonight, 78, 79 degrees there, 73 at Boston. Buffalo coming in at 74. Look at Fox 5 Sky Guardian 3D. A couple of showers and storms again here. They're just kind of meandering and slowly drifting northward, but we'll see more as time comes along uh, because we have this cold front off to the north and west. And ahead of it is that southerly airflow. So we'll see that front make progress towards us, but not really get through here until later on in the week. Mid 80s again tomorrow. It's mainly low 90s through the southeast, but other side of that front, look at the temps. Only in the 70s, Kansas City to Chicago, back to Denver, and then 102 as you get back to Vegas. So here's your planner for tomorrow. Clouds and a little fog in the morning, then some sun will try to break through. Could be a shower in the morning and another feather from a couple of showers or a thunderstorm in the afternoon. 79 at lunchtime, 85 in the afternoon. And as these storms get going, some of them, you know, could produce some locally heavy rainfall. So I have to keep an eye on, on that. You can see that happening here in the future cast, these pop-up showers and storms. But it's Wednesday when this front gets closer that some of that rain could be again be on the heavy side with showers and storms into Wednesday evening. That front kind of hangs out nearby. So we could have a couple more showers and storms Thursday afternoon and on into the evening. Boaters wind south 10 to 15 knots as we go into tomorrow. Waves running 3 to 4. Water's near 70. UVI and 9 tomorrow, so the sunscreen, please. And there's a moderate risk of recurrence. Clouds and humid weather tonight with a shower risk. Only just some fog, so don't look for much rain at all in the forecast tonight. 72 in the city, 67 in the suburbs. Tomorrow, some sunshine after morning clouds. A shower and thunderstorm threat is there. And uh, again, a little more numerous in the afternoon and evening as temperatures climb to the middle 80s. And we'll stay in the mid 80s on Wednesday with some more showers and storms at just about any point. But again, there'll be dry periods too. Afternoon, evening shower storms Thursday at 83. Then Friday, Saturday looking better. Still pretty warm, mid 80s, 70 at night. And then the summer pattern into Sunday and Monday at afternoon, evening scattered shower storm. Most of the time dry, middle 80s and humid. I love walking out of here at night and have it be in the 70s. Right? Warm nights is the best. Summertime should feel yeah, that way. Yeah, it's right? great. I do love that. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Nick okay. Russ will be joining us next with sports. Traffic Tracker brought to you by Toyota. I'm Inez Rosales with the Toyota Traffic Tracker. Route 78 westbound in Bedminster by exit 29. That's the exit for 287 and Route 202 to 206. The right lane will be closed in the local lanes throughout the week from 9 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Tune into Good Day New York starting at 4.30 in the morning, and I'll keep you updated on your commute. 
Fox 5 News brought to you by Verizon Fios. Get out of the past. Get Fios. Thanks for coming to movie night. Yeah, of course. So fun. So fun, right? Yeah. I'm going to go check. Okay. Oh. Well, we're all the way up to 4%. It's great. Yeah. I could do this all night. I'm just, I'm just going to go check again. Leave slow okay. downloads behind. 100% fiber optics is here. Get out of the past. Get Fios. Now $79.99 a month. Go online or call now. Rashida? Oh, man. Dad's going to kill me. Break trouble? Then go to the guys who really know breaks. Amco. People who know go to Amco. Double A. MCO. Call now for Amco's break special. That's $129.95 or less per axle with your choice of an instant rebate or a free oil change. Drop and twist, new at the Land of Make Believe. <laughs> Drop and twist is awesome! Land of Make Believe, the number one amusement park in North Jersey. We're less than an hour from New York City. We love this place! Hey, big guy. I heard you lost a close one today. Look, Jamie. Maybe we weren't the lowest rate this time. But when you show people their progressive direct rate and our competitors' rates, you can't win them all. The important part is you help them save. Thanks, Flo. Okay. Let's go get you an ice cream cone, champ. The sprinkles? The sprinkles are for winners. I understand. To find love online, you first need to find the right dating site. I'm looking for someone committed who shares my lifestyle, values, and ambitions. Someone like-minded. Someone I could imagine sharing a life with. I'm not looking for just anyone. I'm looking for the right one. And that's why Elite Singles is the site for me. Register today on EliteSingles.com or download the Elite Singles app from the App Store. Introducing Dunkin's new fruit smoothies. Perfectly blended with real fruit and low-fat yogurt. It's a delicious choice you can feel good sipping. Discover the goodness of Dunkin's new smoothies today. America runs on Dunkin'. Stewart takes a crack at Sheldon's lady. Doesn't he know you have a boyfriend? She doesn't have a boyfriend. She has a Sheldon. Next, Big Bang. Coming up next on Fox 5. On the next Chasing News... Radio frequency facial, and we're freezing off fat. We're plastic surgeons for the day. No need to go under the knife to look like a star. Chasing News tonight. All right, how you doing, everyone? Well, after seeing their struggling bats finally erupt yesterday for 15 hits and eight runs to make it two or three from the Dodgers, the Mets moved up the coast to San Francisco tonight for the opener of a new three-game set with the Giants. And you might recall last time Giants faced this guy started Chris Heston. Uh, I should say the Mets face him. He threw a no-hitter at them in New York, but that won't be the case tonight, as you see, because the second batter of the game there, Ruben Tejada, singled in the first inning. Now in the third, that game is scoreless. Now, in other baseball business, the All-Star rosters were announced tonight with Yankees first baseman Mark Teixeira and reliever Dylan Batances, both making the American League squad, while right-handed Jacob deGrom, the reigning National League Rookie of the Year, he was the lone Met named to the National League. All right, in football, business good news is it could have been a whole lot worse but the bad news is still bad news Giants big number 90 defensive end Jason Pierre Paul suffering self-inflicted burn injuries to his hands yesterday shooting off fireworks down in Florida July 4th and as of tonight he was still in a Miami hospital the injuries fortunately are not believed to be career threatening that being said, though, the Giants franchise tag offer of $14.8 million for one year remains on the table, or a reported long-term deal worth $60 million is now in question. But, hey, I wouldn't read much into that. It only makes sense, folks, until the Giants doctors check out, Jason. It's all a moot point. If he passes a physical, fine. If he fails, Giants are not going to pay a guy who can't play, but I do expect Jason to be playing. All right, it was a busy Matic Monday on the tennis court over at Wimbledon today with the Fed. 
defending champion Novik Djokovic fighting for his life after 14 C. Kevin Anderson took the first two sets, 7 6, 7 6. The top seeded no Djokovic then fought back to take the next two sets at 6 1 and 6 4 to tie the match, and that's where it stands. Match called at that point due to darkness, so the fifth and deciding set will go tomorrow morning. Also on the men's side, number two seed, Roger Federer had a much easier time of it with 20th seeded Roberto Bautista Agut, the seven-time Wimbledon champ. Federer would take care of business in three straight sets by scores of 6-2, 6-2, and 6-3 to advance. Meanwhile, big story over on the ladies' side of the net was the sister act. Top seeded Serena Williams taking on Big Says Venus, seeded number 16. It would be the 26th career meeting between the Williams ladies, and it was Serena dominating in an hour and eight minutes to win in straight sets, 6-4 and 6-3. And in golf, top ranked Rory McIlroy rupturing an ankle ligament playing soccer, so his playing in the British Open just 10 days away is in serious jeopardy. McElroy says he'll make a decision by the end of this week. You hate to see him get hurt oh. playing another sport for the heck of it. All right, thanks, Russ. Well, tonight we asked you when do you typically start to think about getting ready for back to school. Tammy says, I already did my back to school shopping before school was Some out. Some people right, love Tammy. getting it. She, she buys yeah, her yeah. Christmas cards the 26th for the next year, too. Well, that's actually that's you a save thing, a lot too. No, you do save a lot of paper. money. True, true. All right. Mimi writes, always in August, I want to enjoy my summer, too. Candace says, right now, can they go back now? Uh uh, you got yeah. it for two more months, Candace. Yeah. Sorry. All right, not too late. You can still get in on that conversation. Head to our Facebook page. Go to our individual Facebook pages like those, too. And we'll do that. So that whole story triggered by the fact that some people are already starting to see the back to school sales pop up on July 4th, They're which is there. crazy. Yes. But they keep pumping these holidays earlier they're and earlier. earlier. They do it next one year, they're going to do it earlier as the next as year as and the year after that. August or September is going to start Halloween. I know. Then, then yeah. before you know, they're going to start advertising Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This, I said today in our meeting, the Christmas specials were already on, on 4th, marathons, yeah. two different stations See? had Christmas marathons. See? Yeah. Yes. So when do you start getting your kids ready? Oh, for me, it's, uh, it's August. Yeah, yeah. So we're, yeah, we're procrastinators yeah. in my family, so we'll wait I think for the they, last they, they know they want to have you buy stuff in July, forget yeah. you bought well, it, and money. then you go, do go another round school. anyway. They're, they're yeah, trying to report their yeah quarters. double up. I mean, yeah, let's face it, they're not doing this for our sake. They're doing this it's so they can get line. you to spend money. Yeah, it is annoying, though. But I did already get the list from the school, so mm -hmm. for both of my kids. So if I wanted to, I could. That's incredible. But I'm not thinking about it psychologically. It's right. just not working. Gotta wait. too early for that. All right, have a great night. Take care. Fox 5 News isn't over. Go to MyFoxNY.com now for news, weather, and entertainment updates. The most powerful name in local news. On air and online. Fox 5 News and MyFoxNY.com. Brought to you by Raymore and Flanagan Furniture. Furnishing your style. you for the dentist on Thursday. Friday, I'm cooking for your parents. Did you clean the garage yet? Uh, you're breaking up, honey. I'll call you later. Close Five will help me sell this stuff quickly. Some of it hardly used. Some of it brand new. All of it worth something to somebody somewhere. Somewhere close by. And that's why I use the Close Five app. The easiest way for me to sell my stuff and make space in my garage. Download Close Five now for free at the App Store or Google Play. 16 wide eyes. Driver's license, took two tries, but a roadster secondhand. Playing parties with the band, loaded up, off to state. Hijinks, tailgates, starter, midsize. Family cruising. Now in the garage, something new reminds you of when you were you. did I tell thee about streaming video, daughter? As thou seeneth, our data overages this month. Optimum Wi-Fi hotspot dead. Hotspot? Here? They have, like, over a million of them. Oh, that's cool. Connect more where you want without battling over data overages. Only Optimum gives you access to over one million hotspots at no additional cost. Optimum, let's connect more. Have you tried new Dove Advanced Care? Advanced Care? 48 hours. 
<laughs> feels nice. Very, very smooth. I'm not messing around. It's soft. Your antiperspirant should give you more than just protection. New Dove Advanced Care for softer, smoother underarms. <laughs> And that's how they're made. No. Klondike ice cream meets candy bar. The best ice cream bar ever conceived. Here's to the explorers. Those diagnosed with cancer who didn't settle for just one opinion on their diagnosis or recommended treatment.